but I do think a good steady churn of them would be very helpful to this country. <laughs> Our military is stretched so thin right now, it's ridiculous. Um, we need the National Guard to go to. We need to keep them here for national disaster. Do you have any other men that you served with in Iraq? No. Do yeah, um, actually they do. A lot of them like to stay out of the media right now, which is understandable. They don't move the hands on the I'm the media. So is that guy. Yeah, don't trust the media. <laughs> don't trust the media. Yeah, look at the wide shot. There you go. Lee, I like the shades. That works for you, man. Really? Yeah, that is a look you can go with. I like. And you got kind of an homage to De Niro. I think is that work for you? I like it, man. Right on. Right on. Got a good shot. Are you guys gonna rush? Whoa! How you guys doing? Will, Al, how you doing? <laughs> we promise we won't bomb rush you. I promise not to steal any microphones. Is that fair? <laughs> hey, you know what the, my favorite part was? Going into Isthmus the next day, and they had an article pipping your latest book. And there's your face right in Isthmus. I went, it was him. That's who it was. It was him. <laughs> That, that shows you how what you know about this town, where the hell you've been. You don't know who I am. Come on, huh? I didn't know you by name. I knew you by hairdo. You don't know who I am. Wow. That hurts. That hurts. I've been wounded. So why don't you try to take the stage today like you did out Are you baiting me? Sure. I don't know why you think you can bait me. I baited you. Let's remember who's playing who. I played you for entertainment value, okay? Keep that in mind. Okay? <laughs> now there's content for you. Well, I appreciate that. It's a left-handed compliment. It's, I, mean, I appreciate you stopping by. Everyone's got to get educated their own way, right? Yeah, you're going Little to baby steps. Oh, whoa! Ooh, one's rush. I'm gonna get really. Come on. If you tried to kill me, <laughs> don't cheat me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cut it, cut it nice. All right. Cut it I didn't, nice. I've never cut anything. You ask Will. If he sounded stupid, it's because he should have stopped talking before he said stupid things. Not that I cut something in there. <laughs> I would also like to thank everyone who's endorsed our event. Iraq veterans against the war, veterans of peace, truth and alternatives to militarism and education, students for a democratic society, campus anti-war network, Madison Area Peace Coalition, the Wisconsin Network for Peace and Justice, the International Socialist Organization, Women's, Walt Lorian, Emma Goldman, and Hypatia Co-op, and the International Co-op House. Although this rally was only, only organized by four individuals, peace, justice, freedom, and the American people should rightfully own what's left over. Today, ask not what you can do for your country because your country can deceive and senselessly slaughter millions in the name of your nation. Instead, ask what you can do for peace, justice, and freedom. Live these. You all have talents. Ask yourself, how can I use my talents to bring about the utopia I see in my mind's eye? With four people, ten days, and less than one hundred dollars, you can have all you see here. Individuals and their ideas and inspirations can make a difference. Make the difference. Today, you crash in the wave we have created. I hope someday I will crash in the wave you birth. And now it is my distinguished honor to introduce to you a man who has seen the tyranny our government has created in the name of democracy with his own eyes. <coughs> He has seen this travesty, and at great risk to his future comfort, he has decided to ride the apex of our reign. Without further ado, the man, the myth, the legend, Kate Fed himself, Josh Gaines. <laughs>
Dear Mr. Rumsfeld, as a veteran of Operation Iraqi Freedom and Operation Enduring Freedom, I am respectfully returning the Global War and Terrorism Expeditionary Medal and National Defense Medal. Sir, among all the uh, sir, among all the Army values I carry within, none is stronger than integrity. It is with honor and loyalty that the American soldier must serve one's country. Thus, my intention for this letter and action is for you, with honor, to recognize the failures that have and continue to put our military men and women in grave and unnecessary danger. As a soldier and an American, I ask for your loyalty to the true needs of the brave men and women serving our country while suffering countless injustices due to greed, corruption, and incompetence. right-wing conspiracy, but whatever. <laughs> I, think 20, I think about 20 years from now, we're all going to be able to look back at this and say we made history today, so thank you so yeah. much.